Architects and welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. My name is Bert and today I'm going to be showing you, I got a quick little lesson uh, going into sprite layers. Now sprite layers are going to be super useful if you uh, want to have uh, customizable graphics or customizable characters. Like if you want to display your characters uh, changes in armor or weapons or you want to change their hairstyle or if you just have a bunch of like little components that you want to stitch together and make a new custom character uh, this is a great way to do it so as per usual we are going to go to tools database or you can hit f8 and you see I already got it brought up in characters right here at the bottom you have a sprite layers I'm gonna maximize this window because I love you. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to resize. I'm going to add, for this example, I'm going to add five sprite layers. And I'm going to name these sprite layers. Let's see, I'm going to start off with um, body. We're going to do uh, chest. We'll do back. We'll do pants, and we will we'll do har. We'll do har. No, we'll do hair. All right. So we got those five layers. Anybody overseas might be saying, well, "Why is it pants?" We can do trousers if you prefer. Um, so we got these five layers. We're gonna come back to the draw order. Uh, I'll show you those in a minute, but first, I think we should jump over to characters. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this on our main boy here, Bertimus Maximus. Um, so yeah, go into Sprite, click our little ellipses, the three dots. And you know, this all looks normal. This is where we select our our character graphic, our sprite, um, but if you look over here on the right side, you'll see, you'll see use sprite layers down here, and then when we check that, this new uh, window here pops up. Our, our regular stuff disappeared, I think it's just because it went back here to characters. No, okay, that's normal. Alright, so yeah, this new little window pops up here. And this is where we define, you know, these are all those things that we just laid out. Let's see, we got trousers, we got hair. So if we add more sprite layers, they will appear here. Um, but whenever we click one of these, this is where we assign what that layer looks like. Now I've already imported some sprite layers courtesy of Final Boss Blues. Uh, he has the uh, the time elements uh, character generator. I believe that's what it's called. Probably should have double checked. Probably should have done my research. But yeah, Final Boss Blues has a character uh, a character generator called Elements, which is where I got all these sprite layers. Um, go check it out. It's a really cool program. I think he's still adding to it, adding layers if uh, uh, if I'm correct on there. Full screen this again. I like full screen um, But yeah final boss blues great assets uh, He's the one who does all the stuff if you didn't know all the stuff. I've been using in these tutorials anyway uh, Let's see. Let's go back to Here so yeah, I've already got some layers uh, and you So you select what you want over here, so I got body and I'm going to choose this one body base and here we see we have a little naked man. This is our character, this naked man here, who's got a re very much receding hairline. Receding is an understatement. Um, but yeah, so this is this chunk here. This is normal. We just need to set our frame width. I believe it's 96 by 96 for four directions. Four directions, three frames. This is like the. Uh, Sprite sheet tutorial. Um, so we got our body set. We can go to chest. Go back to my sprite layers. We have the torso layer. Click that. See now it's added onto him here. We're gonna go to back. We're gonna go to back cape. 
See, it looks a little weird here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix it, don't worry. We're gonna go to trousers. Uh, we're gonna go, oh, it's called pants here. That's his underwear. We're gonna select trousers, our pants, and we're gonna go to hair, and we are gonna select hair. Now, so now we got our layers all selected, but it looks like it's drawing weird, right? Like it's all stacking on top of each other. Well, that's where we, uh, that thing I said I was gonna come back to, uh, we're gonna come back to it. So let's click okay. Let's go to sprite layers. So draw order, this is how it all, as the name implies, draws in the engine. So the higher the number, uh, the closer to the camera it is. So if you want something at the forefront, you give it a higher number. If you want something in the back, you give it a lower number. So with this example, uh, I only need zero, one, and two, just because I only have a couple layers, but I mean, you can have 500 layers if you want. I wouldn't do it, but I don't know why you would need it, but it's there. So anyway, so I'm gonna start with my body. We're gonna set this to one for the draw order and the reverse draw order. A reverse draw order is basically like when their their back is to the camera. So this is facing forward, this is facing backwards, okay? So we're setting the body, the naked man who's balding, we're gonna set him to one. We're gonna set chest. We want that to appear over, you know, over his nakedness. So we're gonna set this to two. Uh, I'm gonna keep it at zero for back order. I think I can put it to one. I'm gonna keep it at zero for right now. And if I messed up, we'll find out. For back, which is like the cape, the black cape, we're gonna set that to two. And we're gonna keep the, the front facing to zero. So it's like, we got, we got the chest, we got the, the naked man, and then we have the cape behind it. I'm definitely not doing motions with my hands. I promise you that um, in order to demonstrate what I'm saying. I promise. Okay, so trousers. We want that to appear in front of his nakedness. So we're going to set that to two. Um, we would set this... The cape, the back, it's going to be covering it, so for this example, I can leave this at zero. Um, but if we didn't have the cape on his back, um, it would you'd see his naked butt. So anyway, so for this example, this is correct. Hair, uh, we want this to, it, you know, it needs to pop up no matter which direction. So hair is going to be set to two. Right, so now let's go back to our characters. I'm gonna hit apply just to save it. Going back to characters, Boydimus Maximus. And we're gonna click the little ellipses, and look at that! It's all sorted out. We got his torso, we got his trousers. You can see the cape behind him. Pretty cool, right? Now, over here, you may, I kind of skipped over it, but there is a render selected sprite layer only. If you select that, and then you click any of these layers, it shows you what the individual layer is. So that's kind of cool. That's a cool little uh, trick, a little little tidbit, a little info nugget, whatever. Um, but yeah, when it's all rendered together, that's what he looks like, okay? Remember how I had the pants layered, or the trousers, excuse me? How, um, so if I take the back layer off, you'll see Oh, he's naked. That man is naked. So, just something to keep in mind. You know, for this example, I want to hide his shame, so there we go. Um, and like I said, you can have more layers than than the five I set up, so, uh, you, you know, if you have to do um, ten layers so that you can show you know, a different kind of armor on the back, or you know, you know what I'm saying. like. Just make it work how you need to. But yeah, let's see what it looks like in engine. Hit the play button. I'm gonna move it over here. And look at that. Oh, I'm floating. I, I don't, <laughs> I'm definitely flying in the air. Uh, I must have left him on a strange layer. Um, that's fun. 
that is a remnant of me uh, doing all sorts of fun tests. So. That's how sprite layers work. Pretty neat. Lots of cool things you can do. Like I said, if you want to show your armor upgrades on the map or change a character's hairstyles or have their weapons showing, I always like when RPGs do that. If, if you're in battle and it shows a different uh, weapon when you get one, that's, uh, that's some good polish right there. But anyway, I'm going to keep floating around here. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe the video if you enjoyed it. Um, be sure to check out Final Boss Blues, his uh, elements creator, to, to get access to these sprite layers. Um, you can always create your own, of course, too, but it's a great tool. I highly recommend it. Uh, as well as any of his assets. You can see them all here. They, they're they're good-looking good looking characters uh, please do join the mailing list uh, join our discord join the game jam that's happening right now and if you're watching this in the future join the game jam that's happening then Ooh, foreshadowing if you enjoy the music in this video and if you enjoy my light-hearted commentary please do consider supporting me on patreon.com slash bit by bit sound it really does help me out a lot uh, and I appreciate it. Okay. I think I'm going to stop rambling. I have been Bert. You have been amazing. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>